Welcome guys to our Super Bowl game picks. Well, game pick because it's yeah. just one game. The game, the big game of the season. Last pick of the year. Yeah. Um, I forgot what our record was, but I know we were tied, and then you just got the two wins in the conference, the, in the game. conference yeah. game. So you're up two. So no matter what happens, if whoever we pick, it I doesn't win. matter. You win. I got, so I got the, I got the <laughs> congrats. <play> Thank you. <laughs> so in the Super Bowl, we have the LA Rams facing the New England Patriots. Uh, wow. Just the way the Rams got into the Super Bowl, just wow. What a really good game. and Both uh, games went to overtime, which was pretty crazy. And a uh, blown call yeah. at the end there. But um, that would have probably determined the fate of the you saw, Rams. You, you saw uh, Sean Payton's undershirt at like one of his last press conferences. No, what the happened? <laughs> you know that shirt that has like Roger Goodell that's like a clown nose? Yeah. It's like a baby blue shirt. Oh, he was boy. wearing it under his, his dress shirt. <laughs> oh, my God. No, nah, but um, that was a really good game. I really enjoyed it. Um, the Saints, yeah, you can blame it on that one play, but you know the Saints had they, they chances. had chances. They, they had, had chances, chances to you know blow up the game. Um, again, you know, if, I think it was like a fourth and five, and Sam Shields caught the fake punt pass behind the line, behind the first down, like three yards. You know, mm -hmm. if he makes that, you know, that tackle and stops him from the first move, um, that game, that game is over. Yeah. But um, so we're gonna see, we're gonna see probably. A little fake punt and in, in oh, sort of so I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like the Rams are the type of team to that yeah, and he he does it all the time. So and not even see. that the another questionable play happened in, in the Chiefs and the Patriots game when uh, no, when D Ford was like like but the big one was like the D Ford one the one that the face mask well, not the, the offside or neutral in the neutral zone oh, yeah, or whatever. He was like I don't like in, I don't you know. like the call, but you know it's in the rule book and you call it. Yeah, but. Again, like, but that's not the one that really got me. The one that got me was the roughing the passer one, mm -hmm. and he didn't even oh touch him. He just he hit him in his shoulder, bringing down his and head. And it was, it was, he just literally all he did was touch him in the shoulder, and they called the roughing the passer on Tom Brady. And yeah. Tom Brady. So, so a bunch of calls that it happens. But, oh. anyways, let's get into it. Rams, Patriots, this Sunday, February third. Who are you taking? Uh, taking. The LA Rams. As to. am I, because God forbid I see the Patriots win another Super Bowl. And, you know, it's. <laughs> oh my God, bro. And, bro, Tom Brady is. Tom Brady, bro. Something else. He's something else, man. But um, I'm going with the Rams just because, you know, this, you know, second second year back in LA. And it's, man, it's, it, it'll be it, a party it, in yeah, LA, they, bro. They're, they're just, they're I think they're riding for the city, bro. Um, if Todd Gurley controls the ball, bro, and if he's healthy, because he's 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 hurt. It's not that CJ Anderson oh, no, not playing him. He's hurt. He's been yeah. hurting for the last three week for the last three weeks of the season. Definitely, you, you see his you his carries tell. go down way yeah, way and, way and uh, you know two weeks to prepare to get a little healthy. But his production hasn't fallen off, which is pretty surprising. Like he's had yeah, a little bit amount of carries, yeah. and then he's had. Touchdowns. Contesting games, touchdowns, and he has decent yardage. Yeah. So I mean, what he's doing, what he's asked of. So and, that's uh, good for the Rams. A thing that I heard, you know, Shannon Sharp said that, you know, Shannon Sharp knew he was hurt, but what really sealed the deal was when he missed that third, when he missed that third down catch against the Saints. He was like, oh, for sure, that this guy, this guy doesn't drop passes in the backfield. Yeah. So something's wrong with him, and clearly something is wrong. But um, if the Rams can just control the, the game like they did against the Dallas Cowboys. And Todd Gurley can just you know get 15 carries, mm -hmm. 20 carries, and do what the do what the Patriots did to the Chiefs, just run down the the gut. I think the I think the, the Rams have a really yeah, good yeah. Definitely agree with you. Uh, I feel definitely Todd Gurley is the key to this game for the yeah. Rams offensively. Uh, defensively though, uh, I feel like Patriots need a better game defensively to just to win. Even yeah. though I'm going for the Rams, I'm just saying. The Patriots, in order for them to win, they just need to have a great defensive game. If they shut down Todd Gurley, more mm -hmm. than likely, they're gonna the next step is gonna be shutting down Jerry Goff, and that's how it's yeah, done. Yeah, um, completely agree. I think Bill Belichick doesn't let one person beat you. Yeah. Um, Tyree Kill was Bill Belichick's main fo uh, vocal point. Uh, stopped him. They got they the didn't win. Do much. Tyree Kill didn't do anything at all in that whole game. Yeah. He was like, he was a ghost. Yeah. Um, but like, if you stop Todd Gurley. I think the the Patriots have a really good shot of in winning, and yeah. you know maybe stop C.G. Anderson may blow up, but I think if Todd Gurley is the key, yeah, definitely Todd Gurley is the the main catalyst of that team. It, the whole offense revolves around him because yeah, 
they built that entire offense. If you really think about it, they built that offense entirely around him. Yeah, so. and I think they built this. I think the Rams, when they hired McVay, I think from then, from there on, they built this team knowing they needed to beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl. I think. Oh, most likely. I think this, this, this McVay and was, Belichick have been in contact since the yeah, beginning of the season. I think every this, game. this every team week. was built two years ago when they hired McVay. This team was built. To face the New England Patriots for the for the Super Bowl, and I think defensively, I'm sorry, but the, the Rams have the better players. And if you stop, listen, they're gonna double team Aaron Donald. It's no oh, yeah. no doubt about I, it. That's probably not even gonna stop him. Yeah, so. and it's not gonna stop him, but it's gonna open the door. And what I heard on the herd the other day, or not not on the herd, on a on a radio sh mm -hmm. show or something like that in the morning, this is the game. If the Rams win. Uh, this is the game that will probably put the Dominican Sioux into the Hall of Fame. Like, no doubt about it. Like, if <laughs> the Rams take, better be thanking the Dolphins if he for can, getting rid of Yeah, Sioux. man. If he can take advantage from uh, off the double team that they're giving Donald, yeah. and you're going one on one against, um, I'm, I'm not sure. Again, you, no one knows the, the offensive line for the yeah. Patriots because they're always plugging in, plugging in. Now, it's funny you brought up yeah. Sue because uh, one of my guys from the Fin Fanatic he posted an article today mm -hmm. about uh, how Sue is very familiar with the Patriots because. The he past three years, he faced them. Yeah, them in the, yeah. so he yeah, no six times. Yeah, yeah, so he he's very familiar with them. So I definitely give the the Rams the edge in this game. Yeah, uh, I see that they have way better offense and their defense. I feel is just slightly better than the Patriots. I yeah. wouldn't say it's better than the Patriots, but yeah, it's slightly like, better. But I like the secondary more for the for the Patriots because I think Gilmore is. I think they have him in number as the number one corner in the league right now. So. Like according to like pro football focus yeah. or something. But the, the linebacker play for the Patriots this season has not been the greatest. Yeah, not but gonna they lie. still have high power, man. And yeah, he's a beast. But definitely like the Rams defense is more well-rounded. Mm -hmm. Like you have more mm -hmm. guys that can contribute on that team than than in the Patriots would be. Yeah, I completely. Yeah, dominating you. figures on the Patriots, and then you have Rams players who are just any guy can come in and play. Yeah, no, for sure. And I think uh, I think if the Rams win. And if let's say they do stop Todd Gurley and the Rams win, I think this not like Tom. This is gonna be still you know Tom Brady's league and stuff, or and Tom Brady Aaron Rodgers league by far. But I think it's you know I think Jared Goff is the guy. I think Jared he, he Goff, might be the young and up and coming guy. You think? I think I think Jared Goff is the real deal. He went 0 and 7 as a rookie. The the NFC is five, gonna be in good hands to come four. in the future with uh, Jared Goff, mm -hmm. guys like Mitch. All that. And then the AFC is going to be like guys as Sean Watson, Baker Mayfield, all these Yeah, and guys. I think, uh, and now not not this year's draft, but the following draft, we're going to see a lot of quarterbacks. And when I say quarterbacks, it's going to be like replacements. You're going to see Big Ben's replacement. You're going to see Philip Rivers' replacement. Yeah, for a while now, I thought Brady. I saw like Big Ben's replacement coming yeah. with like Mason Rudolph or Joshua Dobbs. But yeah, you're gonna he's still the, kicking uh, in there, so I mean... Yeah, it, they got. I feel really like they'll find one that one that one guy that can come in and really, I agree. really do the job. And I think you're gonna find a lot of replacements. I think you know, uh, you, you may see Drew Brees' replacement next year. One of those. I think, I think the replacements are coming not this draft but the following. I think that's what like Drake the new, Fromm, the new the new type of uh, generation. Per yeah, se. I think well, Drake Fromm to me is is gonna be amazing. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I like him awesome. in Georgia. I've liked him from nice watching show. the, the yeah. show QB One. Seeing him coming mm -hmm. out of high school, I mean, yeah, he's he's a competitor. Bro. Yeah, like, I really yeah. liked him, and then the the yeah. first year he played, he was in the freaking the national championship of Alabama. Yeah, you, can, you know, you can't compete with Bama. Man. So it's just uh, it's hard. That's how it is. Uh, scores. Oh so we both got the Rams. Uh, I think it's gonna be a very it's, it's gonna be a very high scoring, like not high scoring, but. I think score. it's gonna start off like slow, and then it's just gonna like that Chiefs game and the Patriots. I think it's gonna start off slow, and then it's just the Chiefs freaking in the, the second half scored 31 points. Or yeah, so. I mean, cool. and and the way the Patriots beat the the Chiefs, which I didn't even get to, to say about this, is that they played the Chiefs oh. game. They scored fast, then the Chiefs scored fast, and then you know what the Patriots scored fast again, and then that's it. There wasn't any much time for them to score again. Man, it's it's rough, but um, I'm gonna go 37. I'm gonna go 37, 33 okay. uh, Rams. I have a little bit lower. I have it like uh, 34 to 30, and Rams are winning 34. I hope so, man. Yeah. It's just it's gonna be hard. It's, it's, it's just I don't know what score I can pick because if you stop the Todd Gurley, it's the, the score is not gonna be as as high, you know. Yeah, I feel you. Most definitely. That's the thing. That's the thing, man. And I know Jared Jared Goff can compete and he can sling it, but they're hurt. 
Yeah, the second you know, Cooper Cup, the second out, that that Gurley gets out of the game, golf is gonna get pressured. I guarantee you that he's gonna, they're gonna bring out the blitz and all that. So and that's another thing. Gurley missed a block against the Saints, and the guy's a great pass blocker, you know, when he needs to. So it's gonna be tough. And if he stop, if Gurley is like involved, it's gonna be it can be a high scoring game. Bro. Yeah, and not even that. Uh, the Rams didn't have the easiest way to get to the Super Bowl. They had to play the the Cowboys, yeah, the Super Bowl, yeah. and then they played the Saints. I mean, those yeah, were agree. the two. I, if anything, besides the Rams, the two teams to beat in the NFC. Yeah, so yeah, I, I think so. And then who else? And then in the AFC, the Patriots played. Who who was the first? The game? Chargers. The Chargers. Chargers were as they two, up, everyone yeah, said. Yeah. Everyone said they the best up. team in the NFL. I mean, they did good, but. They didn't they, perform. Uh, Philip Rivers. He they just choked. <laughs> and then what? They played the Chiefs and they gave them a run for their money at their so, own yeah. stadium. You know what? I, I think. Yeah, I think. I still think it's going to be a good little high-scoring game. It's going to be very competitive. I'm. I'm really looking yeah, forward to this. Um, you know what, bro? I'm going to go 37. Uh, no, you know what? I'm going to go. I don't even know what to go. <laughs> you went 37. I'm of, like girly. You went 37-33. I went 34-30. I'm going to go. You know what, bro? I'm going to go. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go 30. I don't even know. I'm gonna go 33. I'm gonna go 34-33. Yeah. Rams. I think it's gonna be down to a field goal. It's close. I think it's gonna be down to a field goal. <sighs> Anything else you have to Greg say? Greg Zerline. Greg oh, Zerline. special Greg the leg. Special teams is gonna be a key key part. Last but not least, let's not forget about special teams. Uh, one yeah. of the unsung parts of the NFL. Mm-hmm. Completely I mean, agree. Yeah, I think, uh, they can totally sway a game whether for good or bad. Yeah, and I think uh, you're gonna see a lot of zero line in this game. Mm-hmm. I don't think the Rams. I think the Rams are gonna get to the end zone a lot. You know, not a lot, but I think they're gonna get to the red zone. And I think they're gonna rely on zero line. And yeah. zero line, I heard, was kind of like banged up a little bit. But um, I think, like you said, you know, they're the unsung heroes. Yeah, of the definitely. Team. Them, they have an input in the game, no matter whether you like it or not. They're yeah. gonna kick off the ball, they're gonna punt the ball, and they're gonna kick field goals for and you. I think, and they're gonna return kicks. Yeah, so. and I think the special teams for the Rams are a little better than the Patriots. Yeah, Johnny Hecker, uh, Zerline, those guys yeah. are awesome. And and their their return we'll their return specialists are pretty decent. Yeah. Um, can't say that much for the Patriots. Uh, definitely their kicker, really their, their kickers and their punters are decent and. Yeah, the return game. I mean, they have Julian Edelman, but usually he just fair catches it. it. He fair catches it, catches the ball, and makes a, makes a move. Or, or, out, may, or maybe, or maybe he, he makes it look like he touches it, but he doesn't. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. That ball yeah, looked that like crazy, it almost right? touched him, man. That was wild. That was insane. I was, I was but, like, um, that would that could have been a game changer if he would have touched it. But it, it looks so like close. it hit the bottom, maybe. But it, it was, was so close that it like it yeah. didn't touch him, and I was so shocked. Crazy. Two weeks already has passed from that crazy madness game. Yeah, no, both and of those things. What, what, that Patriots game was awesome. Though. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think the special teams is going to have a really big factor in this game for both sides. But um, I'm still sticking to my Rams, bro. Yeah. You know, I got the Rams, man. I think the Rams are ready, bro, to Definitely. just take over, bro. Definitely. So that's about all we have for you guys. That's it. This is wrapping up our game picks for the 2018 2019 NFL season. Wrapping it up with Super Bowl 53. Uh, not 43, like I said earlier. Yeah, right. 50. <laughs> Super Bowl. It might not even be 53. We might be wrong. It might yeah. be 54 or something. No, it's no 54 is gonna be here in All Miami right. next year, 2020. So check oh out my for God, that. man. Go Rams, bro. Yeah. Just Go Rams. pull this one off, man. If not, we get it. You know, it's Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the chan- and there was like some speculation that if uh, Brady. That like Brady was like, oh, if I win this, I'm done. No, he's and not. Then, he's and then and then and then he got on an interview and he guar- and he guaranteed that if he won, he's no no chance. I'm like, oh my god, now I gotta yeah, root for uh, the Rams to win. He's winning. He's if he wins, he's not retiring. And loses, win or lose, he's not retiring. Yeah. he's gonna be back oh, for another two. And years. one last thing, when was the last time the Patriots played the Rams in the Super Bowl? In 2001. Two. And then, uh, that was Tom Brady's first. Super Bowl win. That's where the dynasty started. And what what arena was it in? I'm not sure. What was it? What city? Oh, Atlanta. Boy. Atlanta. In oh the original my God. In oh the original boy. Dome. So Tom, Tom's got some history. There. So and it was against the Rams and so when they were St. Louis. <laughs> mm-hmm. Kurt Warner. Marshall yeah. Falk. So oh, someone oh, finished business was... there. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Uh, so let's see. We'll see. God, I hope I'm this hoping. turns out to be one of one of the great Super Bowls. I'm hoping, it's, man, it's, I'm hoping. It's been leading up to this entire season. I mean, and uh, make sure you guys are on uh, probably the Instagram Instagram yeah, live. Yeah. Can I get some? Yeah, we're probably gonna choices. do something tomorrow. Um, well, depending on when you guys are watching this Super Bowl Sunday, we'll probably be doing something on the By Austin Ramos uh, Instagram account. So be sure to check that out. 
Um, I know the Rams, man. That's yeah. what I hope for, man. <laughs> that's all we have for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this Thumbs series. Up. We'll definitely be back next season. Uh, but for now, we're just going to take a little break. Enjoy the offseason presented everything. to us. Yeah. Refresh our minds. And let's see. Terrible Dolphin here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we'll see you guys soon, right? So stay tight. All right, guys. Peace. Miami has the Dolphins, the greatest football team.